Give me an elevator pitch for Die the RPG. Goth Jumanji. You get your group together. You make up a group of real-world people. We call them Persona. These are basically a social group who played an RPG together. You make them up their hopes and fears, their dreams, their failings. They sit down and play a role-playing game. They make a character. They get transported to this fantasy world. And they get transformed into the character they've just designed. This fantasy world is all about their hopes and fears and losses reflected back at them. Like, if they had an oppressive parent they never ever managed to, like, square things with, there's this weird echo of that parent in there. So you get to have the big emotional closure scenes. All this kind of stuff happens in this fantasy world. And then you decide whether to go home or not. And the sort of twist and die is you've all got to agree. It's a question of whether it's fantasy better than reality or not for each of these characters. Die is, much like everything we try to produce, staggeringly mundane and blisteringly strange at the same time. And we thought it was a good fit. I'm a comic writer mainly. I write for Marvel, Iron Man, Uncanny X-Men, The Eternals, Darth Vader, like literally every character you've heard of and a few you probably haven't. I'm CEO. Zach, what's my job? I write role-playing games for a living. I am one third of Rowan, Rick and Deckard. Creative director, lead? Director. director. Yeah, right. Five years ago, I was finishing The Wicked and the Vine and deciding what on earth I was going to do next. What about games? Like, why did I love games? And what is fantasy for? Why did I fall in love with fantasy? Why did I fall in love with games? Why does anyone care about this stuff? And Stephanie Hans and I set about it. But really early on, we kind of realised it can't just be a comic about games. It's got to be a game about games as well. Kieran gave us uh, the first manuscript of Die, which he'd been working on for years, and it was this beautiful fever dream. But now it is a much smoother experience. It is still Kieran Gillen telling you how to create your own world of Die and then destroy it in a really heartbreaking fashion. But it is smooth and crisp and quick. It's been our practice throughout all of, all of the major books we've written is to work with a single artist and collaborate with them to define a visual style for the book. And that's been wonderful with Stephanie because we're really keen to establish a different visual style for the game as opposed to the comic. And Stephanie's been great for that. And that's Di. We've been working on this for like five years now. Uh, I can't wait to share it with you and see what worlds you're going to make. <laughs>